Aida have released staking on their application on their website and you can go ahead and now stake your tokens onto their platform, earn some decent returns on there and I'm going to show you exactly how to go about doing it. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury, and if this is your first time here, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, and click on the notification bell to hear more great Cardano related content. Now, the team are working quite hard on AADA to get the platform up and running so that you can participate in their ecosystem and provide DeFi loans or borrow against your capital and get some uh, uh, other assets out of the ecosystem as well. So they're working hard on that, but they've finally released the ability to stake your tokens on their platform. So when you do, you're going to earn a little bit of extra rewards from doing that. So they're going to provide a return on the AADA that is delivered or staked within their protocol. And I love how they've done it with their NFT bonds. And it's a part of the whole ecosystem that they're building out around these loans as well. Now, if you haven't heard of AADA before, please check out this interview that I did. Links in the top right hand corner for you. It goes through the entire platform, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to achieve. But unlocking that value of your crypto assets is one of the key things that people are looking for. And I'm pretty excited about this one. Now, when I heard about this last night, I thought, oh, great. So it must be the ISPO, ISPO rewards that are coming out. So we could have staked through their ISPO, which has just ended recently, and we could get their tokens. And then I thought, oh, great, we can claim it, right? Not quite. The distribution from the ISPO is actually going through a vesting period. That is, we don't get them all immediately after the ISPO ends and you don't get them all at once. This is to stop people from pumping and dumping on the market. So a large whale that might have a large amount may want to just sell it all, drive the price down, buy back in, shoot it up again, manipulating the market essentially. So this kind of gradual release of the tokens into the ecosystem diffuses some of that action and prevents people from manipulating and moving the market so so uh, aggressively if they have a large amount of uh, the assets so here we can see the vesting schedule and essentially every two weeks we will be able to get 5.26 percent of our tokens now i haven't found any details around how that's going to be distributed I did see some mentions of drip drops for some of this. So they may be using drip drops as a distribution mechanism or they may be doing their own uh, distribution through a faucet, whatever it might be. Now, for me, I didn't delegate for very long and not with a huge amount of ADA. So I don't know if I'll get that much in terms of a ADA tokens through this ISPO. And if I was to actually claim every two weeks and pay the little fee that goes along the way, I may be worse off. So for me personally, I'm going to wait for almost the, the nine month period or maybe uh, 4.5 months, so four and a half months and then another four and a half months and claim in two processes. So that way I'm not paying all these fees for claiming it, which you most likely are gonna pay something, especially if you have to use drip drops and uh, maybe I'll wait for the whole nine months to actually claim the entire thing. Now, if you're wondering how much you have actually earned, they do have the ISPO rewards calculator on their website and you can get to it in the links down below and you can find out exactly how much you've actually earned through this ISPO. All you need to do is add in your staking address here. And if you're wondering where you can get that, if you're using the uh, CC Vault or what's now known as internal, internal wallet without the A, you have to remember that. If you simply click on account, open up one of your wallets, scroll down here where you can see where you're delegated to and oh, I've gone too far and there it is there. So this here is your staking address and you can click on the little icon here to copy that address. If you're not using CC Vault and maybe using your Roy, for example, you can get to the same thing. You click on receive, rewards, and then you've got your little stake key there that you can copy to your clipboard and then paste it into the ISPO rewards calculator. Now, again, if you get confused and you don't know how to do this and you want more details, I've got full documentation on our website at cardano.com.au where you can find out your stake key via using Cardano scan and all sorts of different methods. Check out the documentation there if you need it. So how are people actually getting the tokens at the moment? How are they existing in the ecosystem? Well, they actually had a public sale early, 
earlier on uh, or late last year, I should say, where people could actually participate and buy the tokens early. So that's how you're actually seeing the tokens in the ecosystem at the moment. And if you jump on to MinSwap, you can actually buy the token there. It's at uh, 2.27 ADA at the moment or on Sunday Swap as well. And of course, you can get it on Muesli Swap. So all these DEXs are listing the token at the moment and you can see the varying prices. So 2.455 ADA there and it's a little bit cheaper on Muesli on the Sunday Swap and on MinSwap as well. So it's just a little bit cheaper. And that's because there's a lot more liquidity there. Now, if you're using Muesli Swap to get the best price possible, if you haven't seen this, this is a really cool new feature the guys have brought out. They brought their instant swap feature uh, available, which will always swap at the best price possible. So you can type in, I want 10 ADA worth of A ADA or find the best price on their decks, match it for you and then execute the order for you. And it's really, really fast as well. So that is an alternative if you want to get some of these tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and actually execute this order here and I'm going to get 25 AADA tokens. Now why 25? 25 is the minimum. You need to have a minimum of 25 AADA tokens to stake it on their platform. So that's how many tokens I'm going to get. It's going to cost me 57.26 ADA at the moment. So let's go ahead and swap this here on Muesli Swap. Now I have my transaction coming up. So I just need to sign that transaction, confirm it, and away it goes. There we go. So my swap's been executed. So I just got to wait for that to hit the blockchain and in return on that smart contract, I'll get my AADA tokens. Now, why would you actually want these tokens? Now it's part of their governance protocol. So they're, they're using it within their ecosystem there. Now there is a little bit of a usage fee for anyone that is using the protocol itself. So if you're using AADA to do borrowing or lending, whatever it is, they have a 0.35 withdrawal fee. And those fees are collected and given to all the AADA stakers. So if you're on the protocol and you've staked your AADA, you will get part of that fee as people are using the platform. And you can see the breakdown of costs of loans for a $10,000 USD loan. You can see how much it will cost in regards to getting the loan, the service fee, and the total returns that you possibly get. And this is also a comparison on a Aave, Aave on Ethereum, and you can see the type of returns that you get there as well. So that's the difference. That's what they're trying to achieve. And that's the benefit of actually having some of these tokens and staking on their platform. So now that we know how to actually get the tokens, why we want to get the tokens or how you can get the tokens, the ISPO reward claim system process, whatever it's called later, I'm going to show you how to actually stake it within their ecosystem at the moment. Now, if you go to app.aada.finance slash staking, we just click on the staking link there. You can see their dashboard, which they've created where you can stake your particular tokens. Now I've already connected my NAMI wallet, but let me just show you here. They've integrated in NAMI and CC Vault into the system at the moment. I'm going to use NAMI wallet for this and you can connect your wallet. It will detect how much uh, AADA you have within your wallet and pull up the system here. Now here on the staking platform, you can see you have two options to stake for. You got the six month staking or the 12 month staking with the APR of 12% or 20%. Now, some people have mentioned that seems extremely low. It's a long period of time, 12 months and a fairly low amount of return. Now, the other alternative is that you could provide liquidity to a DEX, provide the AADA tokens and ADA as your trading pair and provide liquidity that way and do some yield farming. So that's another option. That's what some people did on MintSwap, for example. But please remember that is that big, huge risk of impermanent loss. So when people provide the liquidity on there and then suddenly everyone's going for and buying all of these uh, AADA tokens, that means the price of ADA or the amount of ADA, I should say, will increase because the pool is losing out on the AADA tokens so that will increase in one and lower in the other. But what we're seeing at the moment is the price of ADA skyrocketing. So it's going up fairly high with the news of Grayscale and people are buying in some more ADA to try and ride that wave up. So people are exiting their positions and buying more ADA. As a result, you in your liquidity pool are losing out on ADA. That amount, that balance that you had is going down and you're ending up with an alternative coin such as Sunday Swap, Min Swap or AADA even, 
and that has less value because it's going down in comparison to the amount of value that ADA is going up. And because your balance is decreasing as well, you end up with less ADA and less value in your liquidity pool in general. So please be careful when messing around with DEXs, there is that risk of impermanent loss. Now, of course, the markets may flip and re totally recover in a week and you gain that loss back. And if you exit at that point, then you don't see the loss, but you also get the trading fees that come on the DEX as well. So there's a whole lot to it. My video explained that a lot more. Anyway, this is the other alternative. Instead of providing liquidity, you can just stake it to their protocol and have a much safer experience because you're not buying, selling or providing that liquidity to a liquidity pool and having it bought and sold against it. Now I'm just checking on my wallet history here and it looks like my assets have come through. So that was fairly quick. That took less than three minutes. Well, yeah, yeah, about three minutes. So that's that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and stake this now. Now I'm going to stake this for a six month period. So I'm going to click on stake and the little how much you want to stake dashboard comes up and I can slide this all the way across. So I can choose exactly how much I want to stake within the protocol. So I've got 29.5 AADA tokens all up. I'll choose the six month. Let's see what type of return I'll get. So 12 months, I get 35.4. Six months, I get 31.27. Now, the, it, it's nice that they give you an option here because what we're trying to do is predict what the price might be. So we're trying to exit at a point and buy and sell or whatever or reposition ourselves in that uh, period of time so that we can either sell and gain more ADA or buy more a ADA and then stake more for another six, period, six month period. So that's what we're trying to work out at this point in time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for the six month period here with my 29.5 AADA and then generate this NFT bond. So I'm going to go confirm. And what this will do is essentially what you see on MinSwap or SundaySwap, they provide you with the liquidity pool tokens there. In this case, I will get a NFT and that NFT will be a representation of my staked AADA within the pools here. So I'm going to sign the transaction and away it goes. That was quick. That was easy. You can view this on the Explorer. Transactions not found yet, so that's still submitting to the blockchain. Now, I did do this a little bit earlier with another balance of AADA because I have to test this to make sure it all works so I know what I'm doing when I'm recording the video. And I did check my uh, NFT wallet balance here. And if I go through here, I can see my AADA bond, which uh, came through a little bit earlier for me. So it's all there. I can see that my uh, NFT bond is there and I know it's all working just fine. Now, one of the really cool things with the AADA platform is that we can trade our NFT bonds. So that NFT bond is a representation of what we own on the platform. And we know that that NFT bond will mature in six months time and be worth X amount. Now, if I need that liquidity, I can sell that NFT bond a little bit earlier for less of that amount and then let someone else claim it at a later date. So this is a really cool and unique way where if you need the liquidity, you can sell it on the market and someone that is willing to wait that period of time for that, that uh, NFT bond to mature, they can claim it at that later date and earn that little bit of extra ADA on the end there. So it's a really unique and interesting way of doing things like this. And I absolutely love the platform. Now I have another interview coming up with the AADA team and we'll be talking more about the developments, their smart contract, which they're bringing out for their platform as well for the DeFi protocol that they're building out and much, much more. So I'm looking forward to that interview. And if you want to learn more about the platform and learn more about how it all works, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell and you'll hear more from me and of course that interview that's coming up. And for full disclosure, I'm not paid for any of this. This is just something I like to create for the community. And of course, you saw how much AADA I hold in my wallet there. So I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.